crazy budget shot. When we go day to day with our lives, we don't really focus on the environment. We don't really focus on what's around us. We focus on the stuff we need to do. We have a to-do list and we need to go this, we need to go do that, we need to go do that. But when you actually stop and just stare and look around at like the environment that's around you, because environment doesn't just mean the trees, it means the people, the houses, the community that's around you. I was born in New York, um, then I moved to Florida, moved back up to New York, and then my longest decided to move to Rhode Island. Well, like, I didn't like it. I, I had no, I was like, I don't want to be here. I don't know what's, what people like about this place, why people come here, why my mom wanted to come here. I just didn't like it. So my mom got arrested when I was 16 and she got deported. So the cops went into my house. They like ramped it and they like destroyed everything. They went in there looking for something and they didn't find what they were looking for. So it just made them really mad. So being able to see that side of things, uh, I was able to start recognizing that the system that surrounds us and that's set up to supposed to make us succeed is really set up to make us fail. I started with environmental justice in the 10th grade with a recycling program. And we found this organization four years ago along with three other youth organizers. It's, it's kind of an alternative to how the dominant, dominant system is. Our society is molded and shaped into becoming certain, into following certain code of conduct and certain expectations of how we should be as an American. Eco Youth is another alternative to raise the awareness of healthy living and an holistic approach to what, you know, a healthy and green environment should be. With, with any ism that we're facing, um, even like within classism, we need our environment. Our environment is like a place where it's the easiest place to see where we all interconnect so that we fight oppression as a whole, not in these separate, different entities. We get from school, little resource we get from school, but I feel like what's more essential is to go out to the community and learn more about your environment and how it plays a, a big impact. I met this group from Ithaca, New York, and their name was Green Gorillas. And they had a like, bus that was converted on vegetable oil. You know, Jesus saw this bus and he was just, he got so excited about it. He's like, we gotta do this. Like, how do we make this happen? We need to travel. Like, I know tons of other people who would wanna travel around and you know, no one ever leaves Rhode Island. So we need to get some kind of big vehicle like this so that we can get them out of the state and we can go to conferences and we can meet people and we can do things because we need to do this. And so I'm like, all right, let's, let's figure it out. Um, seeing it come from an idea to a reality, until this day, I still marvel. I still marvel at the bus because I'm like, this is like my child. Like. I remember you from when you was just an idea, and then like seeing it there is like some, it's like something like inspiring. Like I like I love that bus <laughs> with a passion. It's not normal. <laughs> uh, we do community outreach events with it, um, so that's our main kind of use of it is just for transportation and for large groups. Um, but we also do a lot of learning based on the bus. So, um, you know, students can get hands on and learn about alternative energy systems. Uh, we have a workshop around, you know, what makes diesel so bad. And we do that workshop right on the bus. Um, we have multimedia capabilities on the bus. And, uh, and then we want it to be a resource for the community. So in addition to us using it for ourselves and doing the workshops and educational outreach pieces with it, we've collaborated with a whole number of different organizations. I really love what I'm doing and I wish I could do it for like the rest of my life. It pays me with knowledge and with happiness of like being able to work towards something that is better for my community. It really shows, you know, just the power of, you know, you keep on, you keep on believing something, you keep on fighting for something and you work together and you collaborate and, you know, you create something that can help out a lot of people and can be really fun at the same time. I've learned to like love Providence a lot. Um, within the people I get to meet and the stuff that's going on organization-wise, if we just stop and look around, find to see the beauty. 